Um, all right. There we go. Mic check one, two. Mic check one, two. So hopefully everybody, everything sounds good. Hopefully everything is sounding hunky-dory. There we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. There we go. Go ahead and get settled in. Ah. Yep. Yeah, they're putting us up in a hotel tonight. So or tomorrow night. So um yeah, New Orleans is starting Mardi Gras and tomorrow I believe would have been would tomorrow be Fat Tuesday. All right, sounds good. All right. So yeah, I'm gonna sip a few more can straggle on in here. We'll get started. So let's go make sure I get everything kind of lined up here. Uh, let's see here. Okay, got something there. Um, let's go here. All right, that looks good there. It looks good there. All right, there we go. All righty. Well, it's ten o'clock. We're gonna go ahead and get it. Get it. Get it going. Go ahead and get it. Go ahead and get this thing going. Don't stop. Get it. Get it. Shout out to the Almighty Spartan God. What's going on there, young man? Terry Henderson, how are you doing? What's happening? Brandon Johnson says, "Who wants the smoke?" All righty. Well, we're gonna get into it here. We're gonna talk about it today. Which one are we using here? I think we'll use this one. Okay. No, I sure just use this one. All right. So, all right. So, uh, what is going on, people? What is happening? I'm going to do a little, we'll start out here. Shout out to everybody that's here. But we're going to start out with something fun and easy. So, we're going to go ahead and do, um, what's going on, CSUN Production? Long time no see, brother. How you doing? Hit that like button as you come in. You know, hang on out for a few. First of all, what what's everybody playing? I'm gonna go ahead. I'm putting in what I'm playing right now. Uh, I'm typing that all in right now. There we go. That's what I'm playing right now. Madden 21. I'm two and zero. Oh, not for the season that was. I'm, I I started over. So um, I'm 2-0. and oh. I, I simulated the season with the Bengals, and now I'm playing the season that you would have coming up. So I drafted uh, Rashawn Slater out of Northwestern, uh, Darren Brown out of Alabama. I drafted him. I drafted Brevin Jordan out of University of Miami. Uh, I drafted Kelly Mond out of uh, Texas A&M. I believe he's at Texas A&M. So, uh, Yeah. Yeah, I had a pretty good class. So, <laughs> so true Virgil with the dollar ninety nine. Appreciate it, brother. Says let the cheek busting commence. Yeah, we're gonna get started here. We'll start out with something fun, and we'll kind of ease on into the cheek busting. But uh, I talked about earlier looking for a CPU. Now I have to remember how to share my screen. Uh, let me see here. Application window. I found it. So sharing my screen now. So this is what I'm looking at as far as my next uh, C CPU. And uh, so I'm looking at the 2700X or I'm looking at the 3600X. As you can see here, um, yeah, as you can see right now, uh, the 3600, the 3600, I should say, it's 200 bucks. It is, it is six cores and 12 threads. And it's a 3.6 gigahertz. It's a Zen 2 processor. But as you can see right here, it's still plus nine, even though it's only six cores. So uh, I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, let's see here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stream it. Um, I may stream Madden tonight, maybe, if I don't go to sleep. <laughs> Let 
Ah. If I don't go to sleep. So let me see if I can move this around. I can't remember how to do this. Um, okay, so pretty much all these games here are about the same. The biggest difference is CSGO is, uh, two, is 233 FPS. So, uh, But overall, and then uh, Fortnite, which I don't even play, uh, it's 30. I don't play any of this. I might play – this is at 1080p. Got to remember, these. this is at 1080p. So uh, as you can see here, 1080p max settings. So this is how they tested it. So, again, effective speed, 3%. Again, this isn't a big deal. So – uh, this this is not a big deal here. Plus seven percent again. This is on 1080p. Of course, you all know I play at 1440p, so uh, it'll probably be a little bit closer. But here's what I like up here: is that this is 200 bucks and this is 275 dollars. That's if you can find this this CPU. Shout out to the real P3. He bought this for like one. I think he got it for like 179 or something like that. It came down real low. And uh, they, they, he got rid of it. He got he bought one. So here's this plus six percent. But what I like is this down here, the value sentiment. And understand, this has less cores and less threads, and it's and, and it's it's clock roughly the same. But uh, this is two hundred bucks. It is two hundred bucks. Now we can switch this to the third. Now here's what I have right now. I have this one. So as you can see right now, this thing is giving me free smoke. Look at how the benchmarks changed. Now it's 8%. This is still roughly the same with the speed. This is now 10%. This is still 10%. Even overclock, 9%. But look at the value that this card has. Talk about the 3600. So, so again, I mean, this is probably – I'm stuck um, – well, let's see. I don't have to do that. Um, so here, I'm pretty much stuck right here. <laughs> so right now, this 3600 is winning. Hashtag winning, as Charlie Sheen would say. So um, hopefully I did that right. So, yeah. And uh, somebody's going to play Sundered. Okay, cool. Hmm. You have a Ryzen 7, 16 threads, 8 core. How does that perform? How is that performing for you? But you have a 2080, don't you, Slim? Yeah, don't you have a 2080? So <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yeah, I played a lot of stuff today. So that's just today alone. I've been playing since G Wiz. Off and on since nine thirty this morning. I've been playing games since nine thirty this morning. I played Madden. I played four games of Madden. Um, I played Control. I streamed Control for about an hour. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. I played that for a couple of hours this morning. Um, you know when the news was on. <laughs> so DCS is a is a flight sim game. I've streamed that before. I may stream that on Thursday when I come home. I'm gonna be oh man, it's gonna be horrible. I do not like it. So, but um, yeah, yeah. Let me know what that how that's performing for you. Let me know how that is going on. And that's what I'm talking about right there. Um, Street Fighter Five. Now you're talking. I hadn't seen that one, man. I didn't think people still play Street Fighter except for Titanfall Princess. Shout out to Titanfall Princess. So, what is going on, Paul G? Again, who talking about me three? What's happening, young man? How's everything in your neck of the woods? How's the weather over there? I can tell you where it is right now. I mean, it friggin' sucks here. It sucks here. So, <laughs> you know, it does suck here. But all right, let's get into it. All right, all right. So the big the big news today, the big big news today came out of 4A games. So uh we're gonna go ahead and put that on the screen. And um this is for Metro Exodus. So there we're, we put the uh we're gonna put this on the screen here and we're gonna see what supports full RDNA 2 versus custom RDNA 2. 
Okay, so you so we're gonna see this. We're gonna see what these consoles are doing compared to the PC, and we're gonna see why the uh, PC has the better version of it. But um, uh, there was a huge update today from 4A Games on a uh, Metro Exodus again. I wanted to play because I, I wanted to shoot that rat in 4K. I wasn't able to do that. I shot it in 1080p. So, uh, but that's fine. I mean, I'm not, we're not, you know, I, 1080p, 60 is fine. I was able to play 1080p, 60. But, uh, but nevertheless, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna talk about it here. And we're going to talk about some other things that the developer confirmed today. That's going to be fun. And uh, then we're going to look at one more article. Then we're going to get on up out of here. So, all right, so here we go. Here we go. Let me go back to this screen here. Let me go right there. Share my screen. Share. Okay. All right. Now, what you have in front of you right now, the 2080 Ryzen 7 performance, nice. Yeah, I mean, if you can find one of those 2080, that's fine. All right, so as you can see right here in front of you, now this comes from, look at the top there, WCCF Tech. So, and this dropped a few hours ago. I mean, this dropped earlier today, actually. And uh, so you can see right here that uh, the you have the Series X and S and the PS5 on the left, and you have the PC Enhanced Edition. Now, what does the PS5 have and the Series X have and the Series S are going to have? Okay, here we go. Full ray trace lighting throughout. Now. RDNA 2 for P, for um, for AMD does ray tracing, does full ray tracing, all right? So <laughs> does full ray tracing. So um, so shout out to you. Now, here comes the smoke. So uh, let me bring that down. Let me go to my banners. Let me hide that real quick. All right. Let me go back to the comments. There we go. Yeah, shout out to True Virgil, top donator today. Like I said, that that's gonna go to the, to to what's going on. So, all right, here we go. Full. I mean, we did it again. Full ray trace lighting throughout. Every light source is now ray traced. That's only available. That's available on everything. That is an RDNA two feature. All right, for AMD. Remember, AMD made these consoles. Okay. Next gen ray tracing and denoising that's going to be available on the Series X, Series S, and the PS5. Okay, yeah, we're giving out free smoke right now. It's also going to be on the PC. Okay, this will be available on your 2070s, 2080s, all the way into the 3000s. If you have a full RDNA 2 card, the 6000 series, you'll have this too. Next gen temporal reconstruction technology. Again, everybody has it. All right. So it wasn't what didn't didn't um, didn't like people like D Batch and Tim Dog say that um, it, it you know none of this was going to be available right because of it, this was RDNA one you know and again it's on PC as well. Again, your six thousand series your your 2070s and up on your NVIDIA cards, it should have this as well. Per pixel ray trace, remember global illumination. I remember these idiots, these retards, these Xbots, they were like in their, you know, in their in their girly voice, global illumination isn't the same thing as ray tracing. Yet per pic, and again, global illumination is actually better than ray tracing. Global illumination is what, the epic gameplay demo that we saw, that was Global Illumination. That I mean, you can look up Global Illumination yourselves. They use it with Disney, with uh, a lot of the Disney movies, the event, you know. They're using Global Illumination with WandaVision. Go back and look at the way the ray tracing and the Global Illumination when Wanda uses her uh, hex powers. Okay, that is Global Illumination. So, but again, remember, this is an RDNA 2 feature. Again, it's on Series X, Series S, and the PS5. These guys are, again, liar, liar, pants on fire. It's also on the PC, okay? Again, this is a full, this is this will be on the NVIDIA cards, and, you know, and it will be on the 6000 series. 
Look and more ray tracing. Ray trace emissive surfaces and area shadows. So you're gonna have correct path ray trace. Ray tracing only available on RDNA two. You guys remember, I can pull up the podcast where I I opened my where I showed you all my RDNA one car. RDNA one does not do ray tracing as much as I wish it would. So. <laughs> Yeah, Jay Hall, we we gonna we gonna talk about it. We gonna talk about it. <laughs> so but they're both getting uh, VRS. Okay, let's, let's knock it off. We're gonna stop with the lies. So, but we're gonna pull up that tweet actually. So um, let's see here. Uh, but again, dude, you you're already lost because you all also said that the PlayStation Five could not do any kind of ray tracing. And here it is, do it full ray tracing, okay? That is hardware accelerated ray tracing, not partial. So, dude, stop lying. Uh, atmospheric and transparent surface receive ray trace bounce light. And again, on both. I mean, it's, it's going to be available on all three. This is actually good. I mean, I'm talking about the game here now. And again, Metro Exodus, Metro to me is an okay game. I just like it because I had a, a rat. It was like, you see all those big rats on there. And I killed them, but it wasn't in 4K. Again, on PC as well. Okay. Look, more ray tracing. This is just, this is so much ray tracing here. Again, ray tracing for AMD is only available on RDNA 2. I have an RDNA 1 card. Okay. I have, I have a 5600 XT Sapphire Edition. That's RDNA 1. I got no ray tracing. I got no ray tracing. Okay. Ray tracing don't exist for me. Love does not live here anymore. He does ray tracing for me and that on that car. So I mean, I get some ray tracing. You know, it says full ray trace lighting model support with color bleeding, and for every light source. Again, the Xbox X, the Xbox S, and the PS5 are doing the exact same things. Again, wasn't wasn't there supposed to be a thirty to forty percent golf? I mean, that's what I mean. Again, liar, liar, pants on fire. And again, ray tracing. For AMD is only available full, full ray tracing. Full ray tracing is only available on the 6000 series card. So is VR, so is all the rest of the stuff, okay? <laughs> all of it, okay? And again, you can see right here, you can see right here, okay? It just doesn't say partial Jayhawk, so you gotta, you gotta have to take your bruised cheek somewhere else, okay? This doesn't say partial. This doesn't say, you know, 1.5. This says full ray trace lighting. You guys are already liars, okay? So, but again, PC Enhanced Edition is right here. Of course, they're going to be able to do it too. But I want you to ask yourself a question if you believe that the Xbox has full RDNA 2. Why can't it do advanced ray trace reflections? Because the PC version can. The PC has full implementations okay and i and this i believe is on the nvidia card i think nvidia was the card that they ran with if i remember correctly somebody with the nvidia card can look that up we know the 6000 series will have advanced ray trace reflections because they've already said it would again the, i'm talking about the desktop the full rdna2 okay because see on the console the consoles are supporting everything except the advancement. It, it's, this over here is very good for the consoles. But uh, over here, hmm, why is this empty? If you had full RDNA 2, this would not be empty. Like I said, liar, liar, pants on fire. Now, let's go to DX12 ultimate support, including DXR. Is that 1.1? And variable rate shading. That's VRS. Again, I'm going to read this for you all again. Okay? This is for D and Tim. Okay? DX12 Ultimate Support, including DXR 1.1 and Variable Rate Shady, Xbox Series X, S, and PlayStation 5. Here it is. It will be on both. I'm sorry. This is according to the developers. Like I said, take your bullshit somewhere else. Take it to take it to the RDX podcast, okay? Because again, we told you guys that the PS5 supported variable rate shading. 
And here it is, and this is the developer. So take it up to the developer. Again, if you're going to suck cock, at least look up at the guy's face before he blows his load. So you guys, they're, just, they're liars. They're liars. Look at this. It's, it's here in plain sight. It's going to be on the PC as well. Oh, shaders. Weren't the shading, wasn't shading technology supposed to be better on the Series X? GPU, floating point, 16 support, and thousands of optimized shader, both. Yeah, this is according to the developer. And, and guess what? Maybe the developer is lying his ass off. Okay? Very possible. Hmm. Support for DLSS 2.0. DLSS is deep learning, super sampling, or as you, or as you punk asses say, machine learning, but uh, no support. You know why? Because Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PlayStation 5 are built by AMD. AMD does not support DLSS 2.0. That is a NVIDIA thing. That's why it's over here. Actually, I'm on the wrong screen. I need to go over here. So no support here. Bunch of liars. Okay. <laughs> now, the reason why it doesn't support it is because it doesn't have full RDNA features. RDNA 2 has its own version of DLSS. Okay. It does. Full RDNA 6000 series will have its own version of it. But the reason why that they don't have it is because AMD built these built the consoles. And again, I want to go back up here again. DX. Well, let me see. This is not, not going to work. Damn you! All right, this is Streamlabs. Okay, this would work if it was if it was, if it was Stream. Uh, oh, this is Streamyard. Yeah, DX12 ultimate support, <laughs> including DXR one point and variable rate shape. This has been confirmed. This is the developer. You can come right up here. This is from the developer. Okay. Okay. You know. I'm just I'm telling you right now, this is not looking good for you all. Addition of FOV, field of view, slider to main, maintain options. But again, thousands of optimized shaders. Yeah, well, weren't the shaders supposed to be better and optimization supposed to be better on the X? Again, liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> 4K textures added to packages. Oh, well, you know, the texture packs are going to be better on the Xbox X because it's got 12 T-flops and 52 CUs. 4K textures added to packages Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and PlayStation 5. Again, it's right here for everybody to see. Okay? It's right here for everybody to see. And it's going to be on the PC. So if you if you got the PC, you're you're this thing is going to be smoking. Further bug fixing Polish patch. I have no idea what the Polish patch is. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anybody from Poland. I would like to know somebody from Poland. If if anybody from Poland is in the podcast, leave a um, leave a comment where it says Polish pass. Okay, because I don't know what Polish pass is. I mean, what is that? What are we doing here? And I don't want to, you know, get get people mad at me because I don't want I don't know what that means. So I'll quit talking about it. So can somebody explain to me why the PS5 has variable rate shading when we were told by Tim Dog and D Batch that it wasn't going to be able to support it because it didn't have full RDNA two features? I mean, I'm asking. Because according to you, according to you, <laughs> well, 4K textures is just 4K graphics, okay? And, and so what he is literally saying is that what that chart we just showed from the developer is a lie. She said, and PS5 isn't getting hardware-based VRS because it can't, even though the developer said it was going to support it. But see, here's the problem. Here is the problem. You're looking at the problem right here. Not to mention they're a Kansas Jayhawk fan, but that's besides the point. Kansas is trash, complete trash. But anyway, what are we what are we doing here? So you have the developer saying one thing, and even and these clowns are still running around saying, "What can't do it?" The developer, or have you developed the game? Are you calling the developers a liar who want us to pull up more stories? Let's see if we can find some other things. 
Well, here's something. Let me share my screen here. Now, I don't know how good this is going to come out. Uh, let me make this clear. Uh, let me see. Let me go here. Now, this, this is from today. <laughs> and so let me go to my uh, bitchified Xbox voice. It says here, somebody, uh, you see the person's name, not going to mispronounce it, but it says here, bitch ass voice, I understand that you put together Xbox Series X and PS5 for simplicity, but in theory, PS5 does not use DX12 Ultimate API and does not have VRS features. Is it possible to clarify this? Thank you, update looking awesome. Grown ass man talking, we did simplify. We have our own VRS solution that was released in the original PS4 version and is updated for PS5. That's directly from the developer. And what Jayhawk is saying, look at this. Look at what Jayhawk has said in front of you all, but here's the developer. So what Jayhawk is saying is that the developer, that, and that's an authenticated account, Okay, that's why you got that ridiculous thing right there. But, you know, something, what are we doing here? Th this is why you guys are the biggest jokes ever. Okay? Okay, so you're you're contradicting what the developer is saying. Okay? You're contradicting him and or them and you're contradicting what's in the W uh what's in the uh, WCCF Tech um article. So, I mean, seriously, man, grow the fuck up. <laughs> Everyone knows that PS5 has ray tracing. Oh, well, D-Batch and uh, Tim Dog didn't know that. So let's, let's, let's stop pretending. So, <laughs> oh, now, as I've never said that, nor do I know anyone who said that. Okay, well, whatever, dude, whatever. Well, can we play the PC Enhanced Edition? Um, well, I don't probably not for me. I'll just play it on PS5. I mean, my PC is not good. I mean, my setup does not carry any uh ray tracing at all. I mean, I have some because some games already had built in ray tracing. Again, we always knew that we were going to have ray tracing. We had ray tracing last generation, people just didn't realize it. You know, it was just basically patched in there here and there. So, but games like Mass Effect and I mean, even Mass Effect, the Legendary Edition is going to be on PS4 and all that kind of stuff. That's that's going to have a version of ray tracing in there. So they might mean more po polishing, polishing. That could be it. That could be polish pads. You're right. I could be wrong. I, look, I stand corrected. I don't care. So... <laughs> Yeah, this guy literally is contradicting. Look, look, a lot of you all don't know what the developer has said. There's, this is, you all's cheats are going to be tanned tomorrow by what this developer said. Again, again, the developer has confirmed VRS for everybody, okay? Everybody. Yet, you have people saying, oh, but, you know, we all know that so that the PS5 can't do it. We everybody knows the PS5 can do VRS. <laughs> it can do it can do the exact same thing that the Xbox can do, except it does it better because it has a faster scrubber. You know, we talked about that this afternoon. Big shout out to Amanda and Viger and Corey Massey. The reason why the Xbox Series X is stuttering like the Joe song from like 10 years ago, the reason why you have stutter and judder and things like that is because you are, the, the Xbox doesn't process the information fast enough and scrub it fast enough, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't. So you're, you're getting stutters, so. Yeah, and I understand at this point why people just don't take D back seriously anymore. I just don't. I mean, I understand it now. So because you, when you had to develop, now look, the developer may come out and print oh, and do a retraction, but as of right now, everything that you've seen has come from the developer. I mean, well, let's see. Let me see if I can pull up. A, I'm gonna mute myself and try to pull up another article. Hold on.
Let's see here. Ah, think, think, think. All right, here we go. <laughs> this is a different. This is a different program. So, um, uh, let's see here. Hmm. All righty. Think you all's biggest problem is thinking that Xbox can do things that other the other consoles couldn't. And now you're going to get dragged for it. You can either believe Xbox influencers who are no, they're going to lie to you, okay? Or you can believe people who actually understand the tech. So uh, here we go. We're going to go. Uh, uh, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. I just have to put in Metro Exodus PS5. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Now, here's something that um, let me go ahead and um, come back. All right, you all can hear me too. Okay. So now, here's something that uh, the Xbox won't won't have. I'm gonna put this on the screen. Are you ready? Xbox won't have dual sense support, so it's not gonna be uh, a free. Um, what you call it? It's not going to be as, as immersive. Okay. Sorry. You all will always have the inferior version of the game. Um, it's, and again, this, this is from, you know, this is from Push Square. And this was hours ago. And um, yeah, let's see here. Um, da -da 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 -da. Wow. The original game, both pieces of DLC will feature the studio's own Ray Trace Global Elimination and ray trace immersive lighting, okay? And dramatically reduce load times. Oh yeah, it says polish, you're right. I said polish, oh my goodness. So, <laughs> so, you know, I mean, this is from 4A Games. Let's go to 4A Games' site. Now we're looking at 4A Games' actual site. Now, according to this clown, none of this is gonna be here, you know, because, you know, the PS5 can't support it. I mean, this looks great, by the way. I mean, I'm gonna lie, that looks good. I mean, let's just call a spade a spade, okay? So, but uh, th this site here, Push Square site, connects directly to the forays.com site, so it's done. Okay, I, I just want an explanation on on why they are claiming. I mean, because because according to you. The PS5 won't, you know, won't do variable rate shading, but according to the developer, it does. So one of you all is lying. Either the developer is lying or Jayhawk, you're lying. So do you want to man up and just say, hey, look, I did, you know, the developer has confirmed it, so I'm just gonna shut my mouth? Or do we continue to push cock further into your ass? Which one do you want to do? Okay, because I, I just think it's time to shut up at this point. I mean, if you're going to contradict the developer, okay, and again, maybe the developer, look, at the developer prints a retraction, I will stand up 10 toes down and apologize to you, okay? So uh, I'm just letting you know what the, I mean, you are way out of your league, son. All right? Wow, we're going to have he haptic feedback. I don't know what that means, but there you go. So anyone who's, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> So this is all good stuff, you know. Now, of course, we're gonna have to rebuy the game again. Now we can go ahead and uh, we can go to Engadget because let's just say Push Square is a pony place. So let's go to Engadget. Okay. So this is another. This is another uh, article saying it will have ray tracing. So oh, it's coming to the Mac in March as well. So what are we doing here? Okay. Hmm. You know, um, the Series S will just play at 1080p at an unspecified frame rate. Although you can expect full ray tracing to be to remain intact. That's good news if you have a Series X. Again, that's that's fine. And again, oh look, remember I just told you all how DLSS is only going to be on the video cards. Oh my! Look at here, confirmed by Engadget. Oh my goodness! Me telling the truth to you again. Wow. Hmm. So, I mean, just uh, we're 
I mean, this is um, <laughs> this does this is isn't good for you guys, okay? As Harbinger would say, this this hurts you. All right. Now again, we try to tell you the truth. We told you the truth. You know, so and uh, we told you all that as long as you all tell the truth and you all keep it above board, we won't shovel your nose in the bullshit that you're talking. But yeah, we got to do it. You know, so. You know, <laughs> so somebody says he's an Xbox guy. No such thing as an Xbox guy. If that, if you, you're a gamer, Hulk, let's just call it a hundred. You're a gamer, right? Says I don't know why we're still doing this console power. What's this say? Initiative that didn't help us last time we got our. You know what's handed to us. Well, again, it's not the problem. Is there's a is a certain segment on Twitter. Like I said. None of the, I'm not addressing them anymore. You know, I'm I'm addressing it now because they don't they're they're liars. They're they're fucking liars. This is time to say it. Okay. All right. They were even saying that Sony didn't address the VRR thing, which they did at CES. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw that. They're, they're liars. You know. <laughs> Oh man, I don't have steam right now, C Slim, because uh, I don't have enough space. So I may, I may, I got to get rid of Zoom. Though I'm, I'm trying to reach out. I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping I can get on uh, with MOT one time. I'm gonna keep Zoom for a little bit. So you know, <laughs> so yes, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's so weak that it's doing the exact same thing. I mean, I just, I don't, what are we doing here, people? <laughs> yeah. uh, Sony's always had third-party games. I mean, they always have. As long, as long as I've been gaming, when Sony got into it, they've always had third-party games. <laughs> so, oh, man. Yeah, Metal Face, you you got to show your um you you have to show your gamer tag here. I'm sorry, you've been called out. So let's have your gamer tag. I can look it up right now on my PC. You know, I can convert my uh, gamer tag as Metal Face Doom. <laughs> Is that his gamer tag? Okay. Division two, no fog edition. Uh, that's already been addressed by the developer, Metal Face. I mean, don't you keep up with the times? Okay, I'm pretty sure the developer addressed that. You should go look it up. So, <laughs> 19. Yeah, and see, that doesn't look good for them. Because let's look at this. Or I'm glad he's here. I'm glad he's here. Let's pull this up right here. Okay? Now, we're going to bust some more cheeks. I mean, that's why these guys are here, to get fucked by a freight train, right? So, uh, let's go to this right here. Why don't you explain this to me right now, Metal Face Dude? Okay? I'll pull my cock out of your mouth so you can go ahead and uh, explain that. Go ahead. Go ahead. We're waiting. We're waiting. No answer? Okay. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead and go through this article because you just said so. we're going to find out what's weaker now. Uh, can you explain, uh, sir? Uh, let's see here. We won't go through the specs. So uh, let's, let's look at the games here. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is curious only PlayStation has a performance advantage. Hmm. Okay. What what are we doing here? Okay. Hmm. Similarly, in Devil May Cry Five, the Sony PlayStation Five returns what is clearly a higher frame rate. Huh. What are we doing here? You just said it was weak sauce, man. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the comparison also shows suggests. Again, the comparisons 
also suggests that the ray tracing mode enable Xbox Series X doesn't really show any advantage. Okay. This guy, I don't, uh, you know, I really don't, I don't really have any technical explanation for it. Except the sense you're getting here is that the PlayStation 5 spec wise is punching above its weight and something is up with the Xbox. I mean, that's, that's, um, uh, that, that's, that's it. And it even says here, look, look. This is a quote from Zaddy. This this quote here is from White Zaddy. Okay. All righty. <laughs> okay. You know, which on paper at least should be simply ahead. See, you guys look at paper stuff and you're trash. Okay. Oh, no. What's it say here? Oh, no. It says here. Microsoft, oh man, I messed that up big time. Microsoft has used Assassin's Creed Valhalla game extensively to promote the new Series X and S consoles. Here also the comparison suggests that the refresh rate of the Series X regularly dies below 60 FPS. I mean, what are we doing? This this article contradicts your bullshit. I just, I mean, what, what are we doing here? Okay. It says here, and this is at this point, it is really hard to say whether there is a hardware driven performance bottleneck that is holding back this Microsoft Xbox Series X console in comparison with the PlayStation 5, or that more than one game developer has messed up. That seems unlikely, though it is to be said that patches released in the coming weeks should help smooth things out for Xbox Series X and bring it closer to the PlayStation 5, you Stupid fuck! Now get the fuck out of here. Get him out of here. Time him out. I don't have the patience to deal with him anymore. Okay? This is an article from India. Even the people in India got more sense than you. God bless America. What are we doing here? Moist as hell. I mean, just moist. <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> get him out of here <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh man it's just moist <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I think he's already gone, man. I think somebody got him. So, <laughs> so that walked right into that. Then we gonna do this the easy way, or we gonna do this the hard way? The choice is yours. <laughs> oh man, yeah, there you go. Rip PlayStation Five. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's 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 uh, not even close at this point. So, yeah, the choice is yours. So that's all I can say. I like you, and I want you. Now we gonna do this the easy way, or we gonna do this the hard way. The choice is yours. <laughs> so, uh, Madden match. I'm not very good at it. I am two and zero. Oh. Uh, did I hear that Horizon Zero Dawn is going to get it up? I have not heard that yet. And is it on Gorilla's page? <laughs> oh, yeah, I love WandaVision. I love WandaVision. So, uh, you are watching what you all are watching is I read there's a comic book run called The House of M. And uh, what you're watching is you're watching that in reverse. Y'all, you're looking at that in reverse. So uh, it's actually really good. So, uh, yeah, I love it. I love it. So, you know, uh, you beat me in Madden. So I just like, I signed up for the 30-year uh, thing. Uh, you know, you take over the team, you run the team as a GM for 30 years. That's what I'm doing. So, 
Well, like I said, we drafted Rashawn Slater. I drafted the big old um, – I drafted uh, the, the uh, guard out of Alabama. And um, I actually did good. I drafted a defensive end out of Pitt. What I did was I traded – who did I trade? I traded somebody and got uh, – I got a second-round pick. Now, who I got rid of? Damn, who did I trade? Think, 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 think. Oh, okay, that's right. When I traded, I traded Carlos Dunlap, and I traded him to Seattle for a second round pick. So, <laughs> Godzilla or Kong? Um, oh, I don't know. Um, neither, neither. Probably, I don't even know if I'm going to watch that. But yeah, I love me some Wandavision. Uh, if, Horizon, if Horizon Zero Dawn ain't 60 FPS, but Assassin's Creed Days Gone Ghost of Tsushima. Real game. Well, yeah, I understand that. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying that they not going to do it. I'm just saying I have not seen it. So if somebody wants to send me a link, that's fine. So I'm all for it. So more than I don't know how King Kong got that big because in the movies, he wasn't that big. So. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, again, I'm I'm a little disappointed in Naughty Dog not putting out their thing yet, but we'll, we'll have to wait and see because you got to remember that game is 1440p, 60 frames per second, so maybe they can get it to dynamic 4K and then it be 60 frames. I don't know. Have to wait and see. The question is that uh, when's the Snyder Cut going to drop? Is it next month? It's still trash. It's still a DC movie. You know, so it's still trash. So, <laughs> so uh, they grew him to compete with Godzilla because he's going. Yeah, I don't, I don't. And that's what I'm saying. They have to explain why he got bigger, or maybe they just gonna like, well, he's always been. I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do. The Last of Us can be 1800p, 60. Okay, fair enough. That's that's yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. That's fine with me. The, the question is, will you replay it? Will you replay it at 60 frames per second? Or what if it does native 4K? The smart guy, now you're saying 4K, 30. So what if they make it 4K, but they keep it at 30 frames per second, and they add ray tracing? What if they did that? Would you go back and play it? So would you go back and play it? <laughs> first, I thought the first game had a 60 FPS mode on it. It do, does it? I can't remember. So, you know. <laughs> so, again, we'll have to look, wait and see. Okay, my knuckle hurts so bad. So, you know, it, it does. It is really hurting. So, <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious, Spartan God, it ain't worth that much now. So, it ain't, it ain't that big a deal. But, yeah, I agree. Naughty Dog needs to – and Gorilla. I mean, because, look, Insomniac has come in, and I think they have surpassed Gorilla. I've got Naughty Dog number one, then i got Insomniac number two, then Gorilla. And that, that hurts me because I love Gorilla games. So, yeah, but there, somebody just said it, it was going to be – it was going to get it. You know, but I don't like I said, I don't know. I, I haven't seen that. So uh yeah, Danny Ruiz said that it was going to get an update. I don't again, I'm not saying that's not true. I just don't know. So uh muscle bound gaming and salty game is reporting that Gorilla is working on an update. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. Yeah, all right, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I just haven't seen that yet. So and uh, all right, so let's just say they make Horizon Zero Dawn, they keep it checkerboarded, but they make it 60 FPS and they add ray tracing. Do you go back and play it again? I mean, I'm just asking. So I'm just asking. I mean, I, I probably will. You know, that's probably, that'll probably, like I said, there are a handful of games I wouldn't mind replaying at 60. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn and um, which call it? The Last of Us Part Two was was the two on the top of my list because The Last of Us Part Two that that took something out of me to play that game. That was hard to play. Uh, I really liked it. it. I was laughing. I cried. You know, it was fun. So, 
You just need a PS5. I know, bro. Don't 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 feel bad. It's um it's it's tough. <laughs> you know, it's tough right now. I mean, I think the only people that can get one are like presidents of different countries. Like if uh if Joe Biden and Kamala Harris wanted one, they could probably get one. But uh it is um it is crazy. That's cool, but they don't need to add ray tracing. Which one for Horizon? See, I think Horizon Zero Dawn with some ray tracing in there would be great. But what if they said, okay, we could do 1440p 60s, give you your 60, and then do ray tracing? That you think that's a good compromise? I mean, again, I, it doesn't matter to me. So, you know, but uh, that's something that I will play. So we'll have to wait and see. HDR10 exists. That's true, it does. Uh, shout out to Salty and MBG. Shout out to Salty and MBG. So uh, <laughs> the Decima engine with ray tracing. Yeah. Now, another one I would like to get an update is, um, which it really doesn't need it, but um, it's, um, oh, man, Kojima's game, Death Stranding. So I would like for that to get an update to just be 4K native. The, the, I don't mind it being 30 frames per second because it just the way it felt. But, uh, I mean, it was already hard enough to do all that stuff. So, <laughs> so, well, now, I like Gears 5, but, again, I don't have enough room on my PC to download um, Gears 5. So, because I, I, re, I re-downloaded uh, DCS. So, I may take it off and put... Um, I may sh- I may take it off and put, <laughs> uh, but I, I'm playing Mass Effect Andromeda, and once I beat it, I'll I'll see if I got I'll take that off and put Gears back on. I did, dude. I only have like two games on there, so I only have a 250 gig, uh, whatever that thing's called, 250. Uh, what's the name of that thing? SSD. So. Um, I'm going to get the 500 gig put in, but damn, we're getting hit with all this with this terrible weather. So, and uh, four tracing in Gears Five uh, doesn't have ray tracing in there. I don't know. Buy more store. I've got it, dude. I just haven't put it in yet. <laughs> damn, give me a break. <laughs> so, hey, yeah, there's some super chats come in. I'll buy a one terabyte one. Uh, thought Andromeda was hated. You loved it. Just fa- well, again, the game on my PC looks fantastic. I can run that game at 100 frames per second in ultra settings. So, um, so you thought Andromeda was hated? I well, it is hated. I hate that game, but I'm playing it because I, I hate I hate the story, but the game itself. The, it's just like I said. The the Pathfinders are just too nonchalant. I mean, you can get, I mean, but again, I'm, I'm still, I forgot how long it took to find all those damn arcs. I'm on Kadera and uh, I'm romancing. I'm trying to romance Cora, but PB keeps on coming on to my character. So I may go ahead and slam PB. I don't know. I may smash PB. So um, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, he going to get the blame if Horizon Zero Dawn doesn't get the update since he reported it here. Oh, I mean, somebody said that if they if they're reported, I'm like, oh, okay, fine. I just I haven't seen anything from Gorilla Games, so that's who I would go by. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, shout out to Salty Muscle Bound Gamer. I'm sure they sourced it, but uh, I, I mean, I, again, I, I'm I'm looking for more for the Kenna Bridge of Spirits than I am for a patch for old games. I want the new guy. I still got to beat Spider Man, and I haven't played Miles Morales yet. I got Miles Morales here. I still got Assassin's Creed. I got Control. I'm, I mean, Hitman. I'm, I'm, I'm on a roll. I'm fine. I'm fine. So, you romance Cora all the way, yeah. But I mean, all, you can only talk to her for so much, and then all it does is take you back to her original stuff. So, I'm trying to romance Cora, you know. But uh, PB just tried to put it on me in the some. Um, I forgot where I was. She was like, I can be discreet, but I had to say, oh, well, no, I want something long term. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I agree. If he was, was doing the most, you couldn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't disagree with that. 
So I don't disagree with it. So, but yeah, I'm trying to romance Cora again. So, uh, we're about to wait and see. And there's talk that uh, there is some talk. I mean, this is not inside information. There's some talk that uh, Bioware is going to do an update to Mass Effect Andromeda to bring it up to date with the same with the with the way that uh, the other one looks. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. All right, because again, they they would have to you. For, they would have. I don't know if they would just update it, and make it sixty frames per second at at eighteen hundred p with ray. I mean, have to wait and see what they're going to do. So, <laughs> so yeah, I know this is crazy. So, <laughs> what kind of update? Well, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, Mass Effect Andromeda for would get upgraded for the uh, console, and the mods would come in. The when Mass Effect Andromeda gets modded, you can they can take the facial animations out of that. What's wrong with it? But yeah, I agree with you. The facial animations are trash. So <laughs> y'all know I have COVID. Well, yeah, then you need to be resting, you know, and not being up typing. You need to go ahead and rest. So <laughs> You heard they're adding challenging raids to Valhalla. You hope so. That's your favorite. Yeah. Yeah, because you beat the game and grabbed the platinum. Wow. See, I'm still in Asgard right now. I'm still in Asgard. And I was going to play Assassin's Creed today, but I got I started playing Madden. And uh, before I get up and go to the hotel, I, I will play Assassin's Creed tomorrow, probably from about 9 to about 1 o'clock. Then I got I guess to go to the hotel. <laughs> So, yeah. But, guys, I'm going to get on off of here. I appreciate you. You know, I just wanted to get that out there. Dudes are just lying their asses off. But uh, we 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 know the truth. We know the truth. So, but uh, I'm going to bounce on out of here, man. I appreciate you all coming. So, shout out to everybody that was here. Shout out to True Virgil for the super chat. He's the top super chat guy. Shout out to Dribble Piss for the support. Oh, I didn't see you there, Toll Stories. I didn't see you there, brother. So what's happening? Um, the Hulk, how are you doing? Shout out to you for coming on. Uh, what's this? Uh, no RDNA 3. When Did Sony come out and say that or did AMD come out and say that? So, <laughs> so uh, let's see here. Um, uh, I, think that, I think I got everybody. Roll of God, what's happening? Danny Ruiz, what's happening? I think that's everybody. Bader A, what's happening? All right, guys, I'm going to get on off here. I appreciate it. Appreciate you all being here, and peace out. And uh, be careful out there. That weather's getting nasty. Peace out.